Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and try it on your own. You can do it. All right, let's read the question first. It says 3 to the negative second. So I noticed this negative exponent right away. Okay, it's a little bit scary. Um, is equivalent to which of the expressions below? Check all that apply. All right, so um, before I even look at my options, I know we usually do this, I'm going to play with this idea of 3 to the power of negative 2. So I'm going to actually think about it before I look at the choices, because I want to make sure I've made some progress before I look at what they give me here. So 3 to the negative second, what does that equal? Well, I know what 3 to the second equals. That equals 9. You might write it as 3 times 3, but I like to write my exponential expansions by starting with 1. Right, this allows us to kind of um, find a beautiful pattern here. And this is, of course, 9. Now let's work our way towards 3 to the negative second. Right? 3 to the first is just 1, 3, or 1 times 3, and that's 3. 3 to the 0, that's not 0, right? Because here, if we look at our pattern, we're dividing by 3 each time. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Divided by 3 must be 1, and that also fits this pattern of always starting with 1's. In our first row here, there is an exponent of 2, and there are two 3's. With an exponent of 1, there was 1 3, so with an exponent of 0, there are 0 3's, and that 1 is left over. Now when we get to negative exponents, we could make them negative numbers, but it works out nicely in a lot of problems if we use division. So here we're going to have, starting with 1, a division of 3. Right, so 3 to the negative first is 1 divided by 3. And if we follow this pattern where we're just dividing by 3 as we work our way down, 9 divided by 3 is 3, divided by 3 is 1, divided by 3 is 1 third. And here I start to see this beautiful symmetry that when we have 3 to the negative first, we get the reciprocal of 3 to the first. In other words, these two are the same, except when you multiply them, you get 1. Now by same, I mean, sorry, it's a little confusing. They're not the same, they're different values. But they're flipped upside down, and they're only the same in the sense that they have a 3 over 1 or a 1 over 3. Right? 3 to the first is 3 over 1, and 3 to the negative first is 1 over 3. They're each other, but flipped around. And if you multiply them, you'll get 1. That's what a reciprocal is. So now we go to 3 to the negative second, and we can think of this as 1 divided by 2 3's, and if you work that out, you realize that's one ninth, right? Or you can think, well, I know it's going to be the reciprocal of three squared because three squared is nine, and now three to the negative second. I keep saying squared. Second power is square. We think of as a square shape. So three to the second power uh, and three to the negative second power produce reciprocals. So instead of nine, I'll get one over nine, and that's our answer here. Except they don't give us one over nine directly. The best answer we can pick is B. This is equivalence, right? 1 over 3 squared is also 1 over 9 because 3 squared is 9. And all of the other examples, um, it will not work out, right? You might be thinking, well, we move the decimal over to the left twice. That would be in the case of 10 to the negative 2, which is 1 divided by 10 divided by 10, or 0 0.01. Right, that decimal moves over two times, starting at one divided by ten twice. We don't just move our decimal over twice here. One ninth is in fact, right, zero point one repeating. So that nice decimal equivalence only works when you're dealing with a base of ten. I think there might be other bases where it works, but I'm not sure. That's a fun question. Thanks. Bye.